Hello and welcome to a very quick unboxing of the Sonier Xperia Z and this is the Nordic Edition. Uh, what makes the Nordic Edition? On the side of the box there will be a marking that tells you which countries this is available for. I don't know if we can show you there. Uh, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Finland and Iceland. So that box is going to be a little bit bigger. Um, what's inside is the difference. I'm going to go over that real quick. Um, if you want a quick rundown, if you don't know what the Z is, but I think everyone knows what it is. If you're looking at this video, you probably already know the specs. 5 inch HD display. Uh, we're talking full HD 1080. Uh, I think right now it's the only device, or I say the highest pixel density device on the market. Um, you got a 13 megapixel camera in the back. 2.2 in the front. Both of them are Exmor. Um, the one in the back is the version 2. So it supports HDR video as well. Uh, 16 gigs on board. Uh, we've got a Snapdragon S4 Pro quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor. And it's coupled with an Adreno, what was it, 320, I think, GPU. Um, it's a good gaming powerhouse. So we're going to see when I test it uh, with some games that I was able to play on my quad core tablet and see how it goes but I've got a feeling it won't have any problems as far as memory concerned uh, 16 gigs isn't a lot uh, but it keeps the cost of manufacturing down and uh, they do include a micro SD slot and I was able to pick up a 32 gigabyte uh, SanDisk UHC1 class 10 for I think around 18 euros somewhere around there it wasn't very expensive uh, so you, that was on eBay, by the way. So you look and you find, and it was a legit card too. Uh, so if you find a card and it's too cheap, don't buy it. All right, uh, it's not worth your money. But uh, that one was tested; it performs as it says on the box, high speed. Anyway, moving on, wasting time here. Box is a bit bigger. In the box, device sits in the middle here, as usual, which is nice. We won't go over that. It's what's in the box we're going to cover. Uh, we got the display shields. You get two of them. And uh, this is important, okay? Um, I need to cover this. The reason they include a display shield is to protect your device, okay? And it's nice that Sony includes two of them. And the little plastic film that's on the front of the device, it's a, it's a hardened plastic, but on the front and the back of the device, there's a very, very thin layer and that is there for a reason it's not a scratch shield it's a shatter shield okay if the unimaginable happens and the device glass shatters that contains the glass and keeps it out uh, or we say keeps it from flying out or going into your fingers and stuff like that I know lots of people with iPhones that uh, didn't have that on there and they got pieces of glass uh, stuck in their finger and stuff like that when their phone broke so you don't want that all right do not remove it. I've seen people on the net that are removing that display shield, you could say, if you want to call it. But it's more like a shatter shield. Trust me on that. Uh, when you remove it, you lose the Sony logo. So that should give you a hint as to why it's there. It's supposed to be there. So don't take it off, alright? Put these on top of it. Okay, you can scratch that shield, yes. But that's why they make these. You protect your device with this. I've always used display shields over the shatter shields on all my devices that I've had that include that shatter shield. So I've had uh, Xperia S before this, Xperia Arc, and an X10 before that. I think the X10 was the first one I had, maybe, with that shield on there. I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Anyway, use these, you'll thank me. Because the one day when you want to sell your device, and this one is all scratched up, and you peel it off, guess what? You got a brand new phone right under there, all right? It will so help you in the future. It makes no difference as far as response to the phone. I've tested it with the display shields. It makes no difference. It's a good capacitive screen. Supports 10-finger multi-touch. You won't have any problems whatsoever. Moving on. Underneath the box. Here we go. Your standard accessories. We have here micro USB cable with the USB charger. The charger itself is a very high output one. I think it's the highest one I've seen so far. There it is. 
1,500 milliamps. I don't know if we can you can see that there. Maybe. Anyway, it's 1,500 milliamps, which is pretty high for a standard charger. But uh, the battery in the device is pretty big. So that's good. Kudos to that. Then we have the standard Sony headset. It's not too bad. Uh, I don't use them anyway, so this will be new in the box. And it comes with the little rubber pieces to fit all the ears. Um, I do have an MW600, so probably won't be using that. This is what's different in the Nordic Edition. Sony includes the GK26 loading or charging station, you can say, or dock. And it's very simple to use. The device itself, if you don't know, has two pins on the side that only activate when it receives power and the phone goes click in there and it's done so you know you put it beside you or beside your bedside table or something and those pins that are supposed to charge it they come up when this thing is depressed I don't know if you can see that anyway uh, very very cool thing to include I'm happy they did um, I haven't seen that included with the UK devices uh, but I did see one German video that shows the dock and smart tags in the box and I don't know if that was operator specific or if they got a Scandinavian version or something and included some extra stuff but if you have a German device and it has the dock and some extra stuff uh, let me know post in the comments uh, so I'm curious as to what's out there and which different markets uh, other we can say operators or providers give you headsets and speakers and that kind of stuff uh, also, Sony does that if you order from their website. Uh, they can include the Bluetooth speaker, or the NFC speaker, I should say. And a nice headset that connects by NFC as well. It's also Bluetooth or wired. I don't remember the model number off the top of my head. Uh, this one that's in the box, I have a real problem with. Uh, because this phone is for five language markets, uh, they include five different languages. we got Swedish, Norwegian, Finnish, Iceland. Uh, yeah, it goes on. And you can see it's a really thick stack of paper. Sony, please stop doing that. All right. And all the Nordic devices I've seen, you guys do that. So many papers. You don't need them. Do a quick uh, start guide and maybe a small piece of paper that says if you want the instruction books, get them by PDF. Or even put them on the phone by PDF. Uh, you used to do that before. I, I don't know why you don't do it anymore. But I, I think this is a waste of paper, honestly. Uh, but, you know, to each their own. But there you go, that is the Nordic Edition. The dock, I hope, uh, maybe for you guys who don't have it, the price will come down. Uh, I don't think it should be that expensive. It's very simple. It's just plastic with a connector for micro USB that comes up here. So I'm willing to bet the Chinese are going to have their own version of this. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good day.